selling boats faster. So going down below decks into the master cabin, we've got a lovely, uh, lovely bit of park tree on the floor there. This is the main master cabin, king size double. Again, privacy glass on the portholes either side, so very private. Lovely bright room with a dresser. Again, the, the beautiful woodworks continued throughout. And on the starboard side, we've got a large shower room, toilet, and twin vanity sinks. Looking back across onto the port side, TV with storage and AV. All beautifully varnished, the woodwork throughout here. Wardrobe and further storage with, with bookcases. Again, nice heating throughout. Surround sound in this particular room as well. We go back out into the hallway here and into the VIP cabin. This is trimmed with uh, leather which is sort of cream colour curtains are, are drawn at the moment but again plenty of storage um, I come over into the corner here power sockets controls there's an intercom so you can call crew or the bridge radio DVD player and uh, flat screen television it's, it's actually quite breezy out today and it's lovely and quiet in here um, you don't get any noise from the um, all the yachts that are moored near us, from the halyards banging on the uh, on the masts. Lovely bright bathroom, absolutely spotless. You wouldn't believe that this was a a four-year-old vessel. Lots of daylight, and then we've got two. Two further cabins here. This is a double. Again, all with beautiful woodwork. And um, although that looks a little like an oven, it's actually the uh, it's actually uh, a flat screen that's been fitted in. All carpeted throughout with this nice cream carpet. bathroom again. This one here has a Jack and Jill door through into the um, into the cabin that's behind it on the port side. And more storage again in here. You're definitely not short of storage in here that's for sure. And uh, what we'll do now is have a little look at the 